Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sabbath. This is again the Open Air TV, and we are back with another video from the book of Proverbs, chapter 7. Actually, you know what? Let me move this uh, this way instead. Now, we are going to finish that last chapter, chapter 7, um, from verse 18 through 27. We've been looking at warnings against the adulteress. And last time we looked at how the life of Brittany Renner um, kind of like matched um, Proverbs 7 verses 10 to 12. So, without any delay, let's get into it. So, it says, verse 18, and um, if you haven't watched chapter 7 on the first to second video, um, go watch it right here. Oh, actually, go watch it right here. You're going to find it, okay? Um, wherever that I, and the, the card is going to show up in the space. Let's get into it. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. You know what's interesting? Um, I have no problem or I have no issue make love with, let's say, my woman, my wife. Oh, I don't have one, but let's say if I were to have a wife, I would have no problem making love with her all the way to the morning. But the problem is on this one, we are talking about an adulteress. So it's somebody you're not supposed to be in a relationship with because that's somebody else's wife. So, as much as it is a good thing to actually do, um, have, let's say, intimacy with your with the woman on Saturday morning, if possible, like, if you can hang, that's a good one. But you have to be careful with whom you are doing that. And now I'm going to take it to a different place. Um, I'm going to take it that uh, in a different um, place. So, when we talk about... Um, until the morning, even though it does not say it like a, in a spiritual sense, usually whenever somebody dies and they, um, like when the person dies, and then you get to go to the funeral, they usually say, well, until that great get up morning. And I'm looking at the adulterous in the sense of sin that you keep you mingle with it up until the day when Christ comes the second time, which means you never get to repent from it, of your sin. I know you might not look at it that way. It's like, why would you look at it this way? That makes no sense. Well, I'm looking at it that way because... Even though it's talking about um, adulterers as a as a person primarily, but in a spiritual sense, sen sense, when you are sinning, basically you're an adulterous to God. That's why God keeps telling the Israelites, "You have committed adultery with other gods." When they go in sin, in a sense, they are doing what. God is looking at God looks at it as adultery. But let's keep on moving. For the good man is not at home, he has gone a long journey. And yes, we've seen how many times we've seen videos of men going to other men's places and say, Hey, whenever you leave your house, there are other men coming in. 
And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Nothing gonna go any deeper than that. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech she oh with with her much fair speech she caused him to yield with the flattering air of her lips she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Now pause. Even when it is um, speaking about the good man that he that lives through a long journey, which that good man's name spiritually is Jesus Christ, he has taken money in a sense he has basically taken the price to pay for our sin. He has taken it and he has gone to heaven and he has brought it to his parents and say, here's the price that I paid and he's going to come back on the day appointed which is the second coming of Jesus Christ. Funny, what we do sometimes is we know our husband in the sense of the church, Jesus Christ is coming we still go and flatter other gods or sin to come in. Just give it the way it is. And let's see again. It says, With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. Now, another way we can look at it too is, a good man. Now, people might say that good men don't cheat. Some good men do cheat. That's, that happens. Now, I'm not condoning that. It's not a good thing to do. But some good men do cheat. Um, now, I'm not talking about like good men as a perfect without sin. Like David. People might say that he's a bad man because he cheated on his wife with other women, da, 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 da. but guess what? God called him the friend after his heart. So there is something good about David. And I'm looking at this in the sense of a good husband who goes to work far away and meets with other women who are trying to seduce him to sleep with them. Yes, men, I'm going to say it for you too. When some of you guys do go to work far away, you tend to think, okay, my wife is not here, so I am no longer married. No. 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 Whether you are living here in the, in the city with her, or you work in that same city, or whether you have to travel across the country, you're still married. It doesn't matter if she's with you or not. You're still married. I know what I'm talking about, man. Stop saying when I am in a different state or in a different country, I'm no longer ma- I'm no longer married. Stop saying that. It is not true. You're still married. And so what happens is when you come with money like that, and let's say you go to a smaller country with which means you have more money. All the women, all the women can smell the money off of you, and they're gonna do everything they can, and you like that attention they are giving you. So you basically you go after her, verse number twenty-two, straight away as an ox that goes to the slaughter, and you don't even know it. Little did you know, you got robbed. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real, guys. Let's keep it real. Men do that all the time. Even if you are married, even if you are in a different country, you are still married. Keep it that way. Verse 23. Till a dart strikes through his liver as a bird hastens to the snare and knoweth not that it is for his life. I just said that. Most of you guys, a lot of you guys, when you go to those other countries, even all the states, even if you are married, you want to show off 
that you have money, what happens? You get stricken, oh, yeah, um, by getting your money taken away from you. How many times do you hear men saying, I got robbed when I went to Colombia? I got robbed when I went to um, Dominican Republic. I got robbed when I went to Jamaica. I got robbed in Brazil. I got robbed in... How many times? Many times. Which means something you're doing, not doing right. And a lot of you, you don't have men, those women, those women over there, they are fine, sexy, beautiful. I get it. Yes, we like what we see in those other countries. But you forget that they are more faithful to their men than to you. So if they're going to say anything to get you to be with them, so they can rob you, they're going to do that. And that was verse number 23 for you guys. 24. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and return to the word of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her, to her ways. Yes, to her ways. Go not astray in her path. For she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Ooh. Tell me about it. Let's look at this in a, in a spiritual way. Whenever you play with sin, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6 verse 23. The wages of, of sin is death. Whenever you go down to sin's way or adultery way, which is a sin, you are putting your way in the ways that she has put those casted, just cast down those wounded men. You are going to go exactly where most of these men are being slain, which is we call that the valley of the shadow of death. So, so, let's stop that. Let's stop. And I'm not talking just for men. Even though that one says adulterous, it's the same for adulterer. The men that are married, that are single, that are going after men that are married, to cause them to 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 cause them to do adultery, same thing. Those women that are married, that those men that are single or that are married, that are going after women that are married to cause them to sin, to commit adultery, same thing, both ways. Whether you are single, going after married people. Or whether you married, good after married people, it is the same way. Stop that. Because we know people can lose their lives when it comes to adultery or infidelity in the marriage. Yes. Let not thine heart decline to her ways nor go astray in her path why because she has cast down many wounded yea many strong men has been slain by her why because her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death why because the wages of sin is death anyways guys it was again the open door TV. Food for talk. <laughs>